My name is Mike Powell, and I'm here at the Chess Forum to introduce some basic moves in, in chess. Uh, the last man, because all of the pieces that sit on the lower rank are referred to as men, the last piece is called a rook. The rook doesn't have anything to do. A lot of people think this is just a tower, or, you know, it's a castle. It's wrong to refer to this as a castle. It, in modern chess, is the elephant. Uh, so, like an elephant or like a tank, the rook only moves vertically and horizontally. So it's it's kind of slow, but it's heavy and it's very strong. It can move as far as it wants. The last piece is the pawns. The pawns don't always serve a function as men. They only do that once they reach the eighth rank, once they've gone all the way across the board. In the beginning, a pawn can move forward one square or two squares. After that, it can only move one square. Uh, a pawns capture in a way that's different than any other piece. They, don't, they cannot capture the piece directly in front of them. So in this particular case, a way to capture is if white plays a4, black can play, pawn takes a4 in this position. The, the pawns only take on a, on a diagonal. So these two pawns by themselves block each other. They block, block each other from moving. And so during the early phase of the game, what you primarily use your pawns for is to set up a structure. So mm, a typical structure from a queen pawn. Well, the queen pawn opening, pawn to queen four, knight, knight to king's bishop. All right, a pawn to queen's bishop four, pawn to king three, knight here, pawn here. And so we can see white has a strong pawn in the center on d4, black has a strong pawn in the center which is defended by another pawn and a knight on d5. So these kind of block each other, but these pawns create a certain amount of tension. And what happens during the remainder of the game depends on how one controls that, content and that tension.